Good morning, everybody. So, I'm currently in my new office. This might be the first time I've filmed in my new office, in fact. Um, welcome. I'm not going to give you a tour yet because um, there's sort of things everywhere and there's like just empty boxes. That's not, that's not empty, actually, that box. It's got artwork in it that I want to put up. But when it's ready, I'll give you a tour. Anyway, I've come here early because I fly to Geneva in a few hours. In fact, my car, my taxi, is coming to collect me from my house and take me to the airport in about 40 minutes. Um, I came here so I could film like a sexy packing type part to the video. Basically, I'm going to do a black tie event later, so I've got all this stuff to pack. I thought it would look really cool. And I've got this new gizmo here. This is called the Edel Crone um, Surface One. Uh, and basically, you can do some really cool things with it, like you can do sort of like 360s and you can do um, panning, and it's really cool. However, first time I've used it, and of course it needs a firmware update, it's why I've been here for 40 minutes trying to update the whole thing and now I'm running out of time. So I was planning on doing a really sexy sort of cool packing scene, and we'll see what, what ends up happening. I think the firmware has just done... Yeah. Oh no, failed. Okay, so we'll see what happens. I might be able to do some sort of packing thing, we'll see. Um, but basically, I'm going to a thing called SIHH, which I'm going to ruin the pronunciation of, but stands for something like Salon International de la Haute... I can't say this word. Horologie, which basically like watches. I'm obsessed with watches, you might know this about me. Uh, in fact, I've worked at IWC a few times, the last time being when I challenged um, Lewis Hamilton to a race that I did not win. Um, seeing as now I'm kind of a friend of theirs, they invited me to a very swanky gala dinner tonight and then a watchmaking class tomorrow, which excites me quite a lot. And seeing as it's in Geneva, and Geneva's pretty, I thought I would film some stuff. So, um, yeah, hopefully cue some sort of packing scene. Might not be sex as I was intending, but we'll see. And that is me, Pat. Adjusting the band to secure it. Please note that the bag may not inflate. In all the washrooms, club world, and the first cabins, you may need to pull on the coloured streamer to release the mask. And please, please, do make sure your own mask is fitted before helping anyone else. That was so wonderful. Oh. You'll get the points. I think so, I hope so. Thanks. Your life jacket is underneath or beside your seat. I have arrived in Geneva, everyone. I'm staying at the Richemont Hotel and look at my room. Room 404. It is amazing. So, I'm going to add my card in there to get some power in here. We have what I figured was just like a cupboard here. But when you open her up, it's an entire another room. <laughs> <laughs> like everything to hang and you know, it's amazing. Here's my luggage has arrived already. The safe, obviously. A full length mirror here. Uh, I'm about to get changed actually, I don't have all that long. But here is my outfit. Um, this coat is lovely. It's from Coach, it's leather with shearling. And the shearling on the collar is like a kind of a caramelly colour. Uh, and when I first got this, I didn't wear it loads. So I kind of got it in a weird sort of transition period between seasons. And that was kind of this time last year. Um, but then I've worn it all winter this, this season. The t-shirt I've had for a long time too. This is by Saint Laurent. Um, it's kind of like vampire -y, as you can see. These trousers are in fact green. Maybe if I put some light on them, you might be able to see. Uh, these are by Hackett, and I love them. Uh, although I've got my boot caught. And these boots are by Rhys. Um, this room's amazing, come through this way. It's huge! So here we have sort of a seating area. As you can see, I'm really kind of making myself at home and just sort of putting things everywhere. So we've got the seating area, we've got a view outside, um, and then there's the, the river, or the lake, sorry, not the river, the, the lake over there. Come through this way, we've got sort of like a coffee area over here. Um, come down here, and we have um, the bed. Now, actually, I've taken my tuxedo out of its bag already. My tuxedo, by the way, is absolutely beautiful. It arrived just this morning. It's by Joshua Kane Bespoke, and he's been working on it since sort of, um, ooh, I don't know, like a couple of months, and it's velvet, and it's just amazing, and I'm so happy I got to wear it. So I was thinking it might not arrive in time, and he got it to me for um, 
he got it to me for like 10 a.m. this morning, knowing that like, I had to get on my in my taxi at 10:30. So we cut it very fine, but it's just stunning. It looks amazing on. So I'm going to show you that when I've got it on in a bit, and then come through this way, and we have the bathroom with very loud classical music, massive bath. Um, oh, look at the sink. It's not like I've got a weird bowl type sink. A mirror here, a uh, toilet, a bidet, um, I don't know, shelf thing, and a double shower. It's almost a shame that I'm here on my own because, like, this room is spectacular. I'm very warm in here though, I might have to open one of these windows. I'm planning while I'm here, so I've only got like an hour and a half now um, until I have to go for this dinner. So the time is now about 10. Um, I have to leave here in 45 minutes. I'm actually currently midway through packing, as you can kind of see from the mess behind me here, and also the mess on this desk here, and also the mess over there. Um, breakfast time though, breakfast has arrived. Here I have um, so a fruit salad, I've got an omelette, I've got some sausages here, I've got uh, a grapefruit juice, and some coffee there as well to wake me up. So last night was amazing. Um, it was, I ended up getting home at 2 a.m. Like, okay, who does that anymore? I'm 30, no one stays out that late anymore. Uh, but it was such a lovely evening, it's a huge venue. Uh, the entire thing was hosted by Tess Daly, but actually Aloe Black was also kind of a co-host and he kept kind of coming out, doing his little bit on stage and then performing. And his voice is incredible and he's kind of like the, kind of the recurring theme, kept coming out every sort of 10, 20 minutes and just doing a, a few more tracks. Uh, Paloma Faith came and she sung a few tracks too. Uh, Ronan Keating sung with Aloe Black. It was just so cool. Um, and actually, well, I didn't drink that much. I had like two cocktails, so it was totally fine. But you know, you just get in that party mood. Uh, and what I love about it is like, you know, it's black tie. So everyone's in their tuxedos and their, their, um, their gowns and everything. And they're sitting there eating a very civilized dinner, listening to music. As soon as the, the event stops at say, I don't know, it was like half 11 midnight or something, then everyone goes to the after party, which is literally the room next door. Uh, and there's obviously loads of alcohol flowing and everyone's like hot and sweaty and dancing. And you just kind of see everyone just take off their tuxedo jackets and, you know, dance around. I'm not a big dancer. Um, um, but I, I was enjoying the atmosphere. Uh, anyway, it was it was a lovely evening, and now I've got to kind of get ready, get out of here in 45 minutes, and then um, go to this watchmaking class, which really excites me. If you know anything about me, you'll know that I love the way things work. Like, if you read my book, you'll know that I'm just into kind of the intricacies of everything. Um, so I'm excited to sort of... I'm not, obviously, I'm not going to be making an entire watch, because that takes years of training and, like, a really in-depth knowledge, but... I get to play with things, <laughs> that excites me, so I will take my camera and hopefully I can film some stuff. I'm about to leave, uh, but I haven't shown you my outfit yet, so allow me to talk you through it. By the way, do you like my uh, my camera setup? So, uh, as you may know, because I mentioned this before, one of my resolutions this year is to get more into photography. Uh, and as such, I am shooting my vlog on the A7R 3 which is a Sony camera. Um, and I bought this flash with me, so I can take sort of shots where, where lighting is bad. But I got this one specifically because it has an LED panel on top, so when I'm filming in low light situations, for example, in a hotel room where lighting's always a bit weird and downy, um, you know, I can, I've got, can light the situation up. Anyway, here's my look. I've gone very 50s. Uh, I've got a white t-shirt on with the sleeves rolled up and it's tucked in. Um, I can't actually remember where this t-shirt's from, but I have a collection of white t-shirts and I, I basically live in them. Um, and I just kind of think when you get good quality ones, you know, a white t-shirt's kind of a white t-shirt, you know, in a way. So get it from wherever you want to get it from, as long as it's a nice one. Um, and then going down, I have these um, cords on. They look, I love these. <clears throat> I think nice cords look great. If you get the, you know, when light hits them, because there's so much texture there, it just looks kind of a bit sort of special. Um, these ones are blue. Let's move this strap out of the way, as you can see. Um, and then the boots are the same ones as yesterday. I brought one pair of boots with me. Um, these are Russell and Bromley. <clears throat> And let's have a close-up on the watch. This watch is an IWC, obviously, um, and it is the Portuguese, and it is beautiful. It's kind of got like the gold, um, 
dials and gold um, indicators, and then kind of like a grey, it was almost like an iridescent grey face on it, and it is stunning. And then obviously gold clasp, black strap. Lovely. Oh dear. I am totally out of my depth here, I think. Well, I do have all these little eye magnifying pieces. Okay, let's make a watch. Look what I've done. I've dismantled it. <laughs> it's really fascinating and good fun, but I don't know how I'm going to put it together. Well, look, I've dismantled and reassembled a watch. I've, I've, I'm a big time now. I've made it to the to the big league. <laughs> My WC is going to be knocking the door to hire me any moment. Ta-da! Never been prouder. This beats my degree, beats my wedding day, beats the birth of my child that I don't have yet. Hi down there. Hiya. Is it toy time? It's toy time. So I've literally just walked through my door. Um, the journey home took ages. Just like delays and stuff. But last thing I did, I think last thing I showed you was the watchmaking, which is so cool. I, I said, I joked to the guy, his name was Thomas, the guy who was um, leading the class. I joked that it was kind of like um, really extreme flat pack. <laughs> and it kind of is. I mean, we obviously we weren't making watches. Like all the bits had been made. We were just sort of assembling and disassembling. But I loved it. It was brilliant. Anyway, um, then I quickly swung by um, to see the IWC people um, and then got on my flight and headed home but there was so much traffic and had a late night so I'm just really really tired so it's good to be home with my dog and actually I'd ordered food because I'm not cooking it's too late to cook and I'm just starving and I'm a bit grumpy now so I ordered food um, while I was in the taxi on the way home from the airport and the um, the food guy the delivery guy arrived as I got out of my taxi so that's great news and I've got Chinese here it is so um, this is it from me. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Massive thank you to IWC for having me. I had such a great time. Um, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.